Hi, this is John with SysEngQuick, and today I'm going to show you how to use TinyProxy to set up an HTTP and HTTPS proxy for your network. You can use this to allow machines behind your firewall who may not be able to connect to the internet for certain reasons to proxy through another machine and get to certain websites, like if they need to download updates or something. You can also use Tiny Proxy to do filtering. You can filter with a blacklist, meaning you want to block certain sites and allow all others, or a whitelist, where you only allow traffic to specific sites. That's what I'm going to set up right now. So let's start by installing the Tiny Proxy package. If I can type. Now we'll go to the etc Tiny Proxy directory and we're going to edit the tiny proxy configuration file. A lot of these defaults are fine. I'm going to change a few of them though. The listen port, we want to make sure that it listens on our local LAN interface because that's where we're going to be allowing our proxy through. I'm going to change it from using a log file to using syslog, but that's really just a personal preference of mine. Now down here, you can specify the number of clients and the number of servers you might want to start. The defaults are pretty good for most sites, but if you have, if you, you know, need a large proxy server, you might have to increase this. So you might, you know, have to watch this, see what happens when you run it in your environment. Now we're going to allow traffic from our internal LAN network. And down here is where we set up the filtering. So here is the filter file. And you can either filter on URLs or you can filter on domains. I want to filter just on domains. So I'm going to change this to off. All right, I'm going to turn filtering of regular expressions to be extended. I'm not going to use case sensitive filtering. And here is the default deny rule. So by default, it's going to be a default deny, which is the whitelisting proxy. If you set it to no or have it commented out, then it will act as a default allow proxy or a blacklisting proxy. Everything else should be good, so we can save that. And now let's add some URLs to our proxy filter. So we'll make the filter file in the etc proxy directory. You just put one domain per line. So let's make sure we can get to google.com, debian.org, gen2.org, and I don't know, msn.com. Why not? All right. Now we can restart the proxy server, and anytime you change the filter list, you will need to restart the proxy. And we're also going to need a firewall rule to allow tiny proxy traffic, because right now we have a default deny rule. So I'm going to add to the input rule. I'm going to accept this. It's going to be proxy traffic, and if it's coming from 172.16.1.0 slash 24, our LAN network, coming into 8888, which is the default tiny proxy port, we will allow that traffic. So let's go ahead and test it out and see what happens. I've got a Fedora machine set up over here, and I've got it configured to use a manual proxy configuration for the proxy. So now let's see if we can go to certain websites. Can we go to google.com? Yes, yes we can. Let's even look at the logs while we're doing this. All right, so you can see it did do something. Let's try to go to something that's blocked, like cnn.com. Filter, we can't go there. Even if you try to go HTTPS, it will say, Proc server is refusing connections because it can't send something back if it doesn't make a connection. It won't change your HTTPS connection string. So there you go. That's how to set up a whitelisting proxy. If you simply turn the filter off or remove it, 
it will become a proxy that allows everything. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.